Hey guys, we're gonna clean up all the problems that we were having in the last video and have a clean upload to the server for our image. So the first problem we were having was, for whatever reason, SureID was not being imported properly. At least it was coming in undefined. And I tried some different things out and it turns out for whatever reason it works if I use the require syntax. So if I say const SureID is equal to, and then just require it like this. Um, I don't know if it has something to do with because of we're using TypeScript here, but require worked for me and now it's not undefined. And so now we can actually ID these guys um, and we can get rid of just hard coding test. So now we have a unique ID for every single image that's coming in. Next thing was we were hard coding the user ID of that user. So instead of grabbing a token, which is what we want to do, so let's do fix this. And I'm just gonna get rid of some console logs because we don't need those. So this is what we'd like to happen. So to get this to work, we need to change something on our index.js over here. So there's multiple ways to pass the token to the server. You guys saw one of the ways. That was with, um, if we take a look at our schema, just passing it in as a argument, right? For our refresh token. But this can get pretty annoying if you want to do it for create product and every single mutation that we add, we also pass a token. So there's an alternate way, and this is how uh, Apollo Client recommends doing it. So for authentication, you can either do cookies, or with us, we're going to be passing in a header, and this is how you do it. So we're going to be adding a module called Apollo Link Context, and what that allows us to do is use this function called set context where we can actually add the authorization header that we need. So I'm gonna install this guy. So yarn add, and this is on the client side that we're adding this package. And we can go ahead and copy it. So now we're gonna have this off link. Now for ours, we're gonna make it a little bit different because, and by the way, this, uh, function can be asynchronous, so we're gonna make it asynchronous because we need to access from React Native async storage because that's where our token is coming from. Oops, React Native, not local storage. So we can say await async storage dot get item and I, it was something token, yep, token key was the name. So this will get the token that we have stored in async storage and uh, we don't need these comments. We're gonna add a header here. Authorization token, otherwise it's gonna be empty. This is perfect. Um, okay, we're just getting style issues. So if I do format document, cool. And then here, I'm just gonna say offlink.concat. So now we have, basically, this is a middleware. So every time a mutation or a query runs, offlink will run before it. And offlink is setting the context, that's what this function does. And what it does is grabs our tokens, adds it to our header. So then on our server side over here, notice in our index.typescript, not that one, um, right here that uh, we're getting the request and we add the request to the context, right? So then in our product over here, when we run get user ID, the reason we pass the context in, and you see that's what we're doing and utils is we're getting the request object, right? Context.request, and then they're getting this authorization header right here. Um, and then they're getting the token. And now they're replacing um, the bear out in front, which I think we're adding. Yep, interesting, they have a capital A, we have a lowercase a here. Uh, not sure if that's going to cause a problem. Let's see. Um, I think it shouldn't, but we'll we'll find out shortly. Console log uh, the user ID that we get. All right, so I think we've connected everything. I uh, don't see any errors. Let's refresh this. I don't know if it did or not. Let's go ahead and create a product. So this is going to be product two. It's going to be eleven dollars, and we can pick an image. All right, so maybe this waterfall. Choose add product and I don't think we're doing anything on the client side when we submit so it could have just happened looks like we got it back it looks like it was successful 
um, Node.js. Yep, so here is the ID, which looks good. Everything looks like it went through. If we check out our images, we see uh, two of them and test. This was me testing earlier that I created this other image. And then notice how this SQ1 we're sending back, that is the image that we just created. So I think we're good. I think all that works. And I don't think there's anything we need to change with this. We need to fix this so it actually redirects back. So why don't we do that real quick? So on our new product page, so handling errors. Right now there's not really any expected errors. So let's just console log um, the errors that happened and then return. But if we do get a response back, there's nothing we have to do currently. Uh, what we'll eventually do is probably update the cache, but we'll talk about that in a future video. No need to set async storage. Um, we don't really need to reset the form because we're going to be switching to a different page. And we're just going to switch to slash products when we're done and set submitting. Again, we don't need to update the state because we're switching pages. All right, I think we're good. So let's test this out. And we're not really using the response right now. So we could just get rid of that. So now when we upload the picture, it should take us back. Just all right, add product, and we're back here. So it added the picture, added our product, and now we're back to this page. So what we're gonna do in the next video is actually have these show up here. But I wanna do one thing real quick too, is so you guys saw that we are passing the token in like this. Now we no longer need to do that. So if we wanted to, we could actually change this. Now I've never made a mutation without parameters, but I think it's possible. So instead of passing like that, we can just, right, we'll get rid of that. Um, so this guy has no parameters anymore on the back end for refresh token. So now our product over here, not product, and auth. So instead of passing the token in like this, we can just grab it from the context. And we can just say args here. And then from our front end, and the check token we're passing in as a variable, a token. But we don't really need to do that anymore, right? Because our middleware is getting run. So let's refresh and see if this works. Um, and it doesn't. So let's see what's going on with this. I imagine there's not an error. So let's see. I expect this to work the same way. So on my mutation over here, I'm just going to console.log context.request.get authorization. So now I'll let this refresh. And this the refresh endpoint doesn't look like it's even being called. At least this console log is not being called, right? Because I don't see anything in this. Here's the front end. So let's see if something's happening on the front end. We're getting an error. I'm assuming the error is, hey, you're not passing any parameters to the mutation. Oh, no, I know what it is. We need to just update here. There we go. Uh, the reason why we didn't see any errors is because we're not printing the error here. Since we're just debugging, let's go ahead and console log the error on our front end so we can see that. All right, nice. So now you see we're able to log in. Okay, so we can just remove this console log and we're good. And so our utils function doesn't need that silly token and we can just change this back if we wanted to to what we had before and we could just say const token is equal to that all right so this is us changing it back to not needing to pass in the token to this get user function because like all our other mutations we're just getting the token from the header getting passed from apollo client all right so that's it for this video guys in the next one like i said 
we can actually start viewing the products we have in our database uh, on this page. We'll make a little list. So thanks for watching. See you next time.